Hey y'all, Sir Luhu here, and we are back again with Danganronpa 2. So last episode, we started up our final class trial, and we confirmed a couple of things. We confirmed that we are, in fact, inside of a virtual world, that Makoto and the others stuck us inside, and uh, we also confirmed that our people, everybody who's been on the island since day one, are the remnants of despair, the ultimate despair, you know, that whole thing, including Nagi, which is slightly surprising, but then again, I can see where he would, you know, fall into the whole, oh, I'll make despair to create hope thing that he does. So, yeah, Makoto's here to try and help us to a degree. I think we kind of have to prove ourselves to him, though. Like, that seems to be what he's asking of us. He can't just get us out of this situation. We need to prove that we're no longer crazy, psycho, despair-filled, murderous fiends, and then, then I'm hoping he'll help us. So, yeah, that's what we're in the middle of now. And he tried to kill everyone except the traitor. Yep, that was Nagi. Did Nagito try to kill us because we were ultimate despair? Yes, yeah. because of his love for hope and his hatred toward despair. I sort of understand that feeling. I can get that you'd understand it, but I hope you don't, don't feel similarly. <laughs> Why do we have to be treated like the bad guys? Because technically we are the bad guys, Fufu. There must be some kind of mistake. There's no way we're ultimate despair. I would hope not, but I don't need a twist. They like wouldn't that. bring it up. <laughs> Otherwise, it right? It might seem unbelievable because you guys only have memories from before you entered the school. Back when we were still sweet and innocent but children. But it all happened at Hope's Peak Academy. You were tainted by ultimate despair because at Hope's Peak Academy, you were in contact with her. Junko. Her? The true ultimate despair. Junko and Oshima. The worst of the worst. And great, I've been pronouncing her last name wrong too. She strongly influenced you all during your time at the school. And that's why you became ultimate despair. In order to remove that influence, you've been placed into the Hope Restoration Program. Is that why you took away our school memories? Correct. The reason you're able to act like your normal selves is because you're within the Neo World Program. But your true bodies in the real world are different. And older. In the real world, you're part of a group that cruelly destroyed your family, friends, and even your own body. What did we do family, to our body? Friends and our own bodies? Aren't you exaggerating a bit? I would like to say yes, but again, He's he wouldn't right. be saying it There's otherwise. No way we do something like that. Don't turn away from the truth. Yeah, face it head on, or else you'll never get better. Look. <laughs> that was it. Oh, wait, but we were. Oh, shit. <laughs> that was our own memory then. Oh, I thought we were flashing into somebody else's memory, but if we were the, you know, actually the ultimate despair, then it makes sense that that was us seeing them. And he mutilated his own body by attaching Junko's arm. Oh. Okay. <laughs> what was that just now? A memory? But... That person, that was Nagi, right? Obtain Truth Bullet. Vision of Nagi has been added to the Truth Bullet section of your handbook. So you're just going to say, hey guys, I had a memory, and that's facts. It appears you've remembered a little. Yes. Good for you to pick up on that, Makoto. Huh? Now, face what you've done. And from there, you will finally take your first steps on the path to hope. <laughs> Things are getting interesting. <laughs> Alright, well, yeah, reserve department tragedy, tragedy, killing school, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Killing school live, remnants of the spirit, list of subjects, academy's founder, hope cultivation program, vision and Nagi. Maybe it's vision and Nagi, I mean, we did just There's get that. obviously some kind of mistake. There's no way we're ultimate despair. But we must be. Because you're all ultimate despair. You killed your friends and family. And you yeah. even destroyed your own bodies. Okay, then it's definitely... How can you say we did all that? We're being tricked. No, we're, we're being not. tricked by the Future Foundation! Ah, uh, Tony. How much despair is within you guys? I feel really bad being on the receiving end of this. <laughs> or the ultimate despair, that's not possible. I need to organize information. I'll probably be able to There's use our vision of, of mistake. 
There's no way we're ultimate. Because you're all, you killed your friend and you even destroyed yeah. your own. Yes, boat. we did. That we must be it. Actually, did. If that memory I felt was actually a memory from the real world, what Nagito did was awful. Just awful. Kind of crazy, but that's just Nagi's way. An arm. And transplanted a woman's arm? Not just any woman's arm. It was the late Junko and Oshima's arm. Yep. What, what did you say? Yeah, he stuck a woman's he arm on his head. probably thought that by becoming one with Junko and Oshima, he could make her survive within him. He even kept the nails. I... I don't get this at all. Question is, why would Nagi... Well, uh, again, okay, never mind. I, I see it. I was going to be all like, why would Nagi want Junko to live on if he hated her and saw her as the worst enemy and all that? But then again, you need despair for hope, so... There's his reason. The ultimate despairs defy understanding. They have no problem severing their own limbs. I... I am terribly sorry. I do not feel so well. Where's the bathroom? It's no bathrooms just a here. game anyway, so why don't you just let it out? I'm pretty sure a select few would demand that. Soda. It's too soon to feel sick. That's not even the worst thing the ultimate despairs have done. Do tell us the rest. Some wasted away to skin and bones through continuous fasting in order to reach the despair of starvation. Jeez, which one was did that? Others gave their own families to Junko just to perform killing experiments on them. Uh... I don't know who you could be. Not just that. After Junko's death, they slaughtered countless people by forcing them to commit suicide. Well, shooting them with a gun isn't exactly making them commit suicide. That's just kind of murder. One person even implanted one of Junko's eyes into their own socket. Perhaps they wanted to see her despair. Wait, was that was that what was up with Gundam's eye? <laughs> oh my god, wait, what color is eyes again? One's red, and the other, the other's gray, right? Oh my god, she had gray eyes, did she? Let me let me check our thing. We have our truth bullet. I think she had gray eyes. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, she totally had gray eyes. Oh my god. <laughs> but wait, that doesn't make any sense. Cause. This would be before the school memory, so that wouldn't carry over, right? I don't know, that might be a flaw. But whatever. And yeah, not see just despair. That, some even tried to have children with Junko's dead body. Ew. Just stop! Yeah, that's that's really kinda of fucked up. <laughs> I have suspicions of two people it might be, but please, for the love of God, let's not go into that. <laughs> It's just a bullshit story. That's obviously bullshit. So you feel despair toward yourselves in the real world. I understand that feeling, but there's no need to worry. If God, you just advance so toward the up. hope I provide, you'll definitely be saved. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm still kind of reeling from that last bit of information, Mikado. That's just that's really bugging me. Save? You'll save us? Of course. That's my purpose, after all. That's why the Neo World program was created, too. You put us inside this program so that you can save us? Essentially, your cohabitation inside the Neo World program was just a simulation. If we remove the memories of your time at Hope's Peak Academy, would it also remove your ultimate despair? Well, it seemed to have worked so far. So, you're saying this was like a test? I guess I can say that the test was a success. Even but... though it deviated greatly from the original plan of graduating after gathering the hope fragments, nevertheless, you guys were able to overcome your unexpected trials and make your way here. Yeah, but only a select few That's of us. That's why. All you need to do is choose graduate. If we do that, we can get out of here? However, if you graduate from here, your school memories will never return. I think we're all probably okay with that. If right? you choose to graduate, <laughs> and the observer determines that there are no problems, you will complete the Hope Restoration Program, and your avatar will be uploaded into your real body. Like, nobody has issues with losing their school memories, right? Especially since our school memories are apparently horrible and despair-filled and make us crazy murderers. 
shit, just, you're okay with this, right? Upload it? <laughs> it means, by uploading our avatar's memories into our bodies, we're also forcibly erasing our past selves. I can see the problem there. You're technically killing part of yourself in doing so. That's why it's called the Hope Restoration Program. So, that is the Neo World hey, Program. What happens to the people whose avatars died? Yeah, I'm kind of concerned if about that. If an avatar too. that needs to be uploaded has been deleted, there's nothing we can do. No, but they're technically. If an avatar that needs to be uploaded has been deleted, but technically the avatar still existed because they were there when everything was glitching out. They're technically still here, Makoto. I mean, they're not here now. God, have they been deleted? I don't so know. You're saying they'll never wake up. God damn it! Damn fucking shit! Ahem. Please take a look at this flipbook for a quick rundown of your options. Uh, you're ever so useful, Monokuma. If you choose Graduate, it'll transfer your in-game memories, but your school memories will be gone forever. Unfortunately, the people who have already died will not be able to wake up. Just a thought. What will happen if we do not choose to graduate? You'll just have to continue living your tropical life. For all eternity. Hey, why you gotta ask something like that? Well, even if we wake up in the real world, we are all rather messed up, right? Oh, if that God. is the case, then maybe staying on this island is... Well, what are you saying? Sonia, don't Haven't give in. Haven't we been working this hard just to escape from here? Yeah, but... Then you find out about reality, and reality kind of sucks. You don't have to force yourself to return to a painful reality. Let's just play this game forever and ever! Not with you, around. Don't be ridiculous. If I stay in this screwed up world any longer, I'm seriously gonna snap. But still, is it really okay to sacrifice the others just to save ourselves? You're asking that now? If we don't get out of here now, then what was everything we've done up till now even for? It'd all be meaningless. All the sacrifice, everything would be just nothing. You're right. We've been trying desperately to survive until we can finally leave this place. If we don't get out of here now, all the deaths we've endured will be in vain. I know this, but... <laughs> you're still temp- what? Something's not right. Oh yeah! The fact that Monokuma seems kind of for this, right? How come Monokuma isn't trying to stop us? Is he just going to stay quiet and overlook us getting out of this game world? We're technically the ones who brought him into this, right? Like, we're the ones that infected the program somehow with the Monokuma. I'm a little concerned that if we get uploaded back to our bodies, we'll be taking him with us and all the destruction of memories will have been for naught because we'll still have his despair within us. That would be a little problematic. Then everything Monokuma did would be pointless, too. Not only that... Is it really okay for us to believe him? Yes, yes it is. Makoto's awesome. Should we get out, or...? Okay, well, now I'm concerned. <laughs> Should we get out, or what? I want to trust Makoto, but this is putting me on edge. Is that not actually Makoto? What if it's not actually Makoto? What if it's just like something- Because Monokuma can make up anything he wants, right? I mean, this is just confirming theories that we've had, so... Fuck, ten seconds- Okay. I don't know. I yes, okay, yeah. Wait. Can we have some time to decide? Never rush into things. Never. Did you get scared like Sonia? No, Connie, it's not that. Listen to your no, gut, girl. it's not that. Don't you think this is a little strange? Strange? You still don't understand? Normally, ultimate despairs like you guys would just be abandoned. But I'm telling you, I'm here to help. You should be thankful for how open-minded the Future Foundation is. M Makoto, what has happened to you? Something Just wrong. listen to the Future Foundation. The Future Foundation is the world's hope, you know? 
You say that, but thought there's something wrong with you. Because aren't they operating outside the Future Foundation right now? Let's listen. I said I'm going to save you guys. Why aren't you listening to me? Because you Let's see, Mom. Let's do what he says and get out of here. I mean, the Future Foundation's the good guys, right? Technically. And apparently, we are actually the bad guys. Correct. It's fine to trust him, right? The Future Foundation is the world's hope. No one can defy the Future Foundation. Except you it's did. It's foolish to even think about it. Okay, I think I know what it is. All right, there's something wrong with him. I Reserve said I'm going to save tragedy you guys. From Creek, tragedy, killing Why aren't life. you listening to me? The despair, list of subjects. Let's do what he says and get out of here. Hope cultivation. I mean, the future foundation. No, email the Lakota, right? right? And apparently, we are actually the bad guy. It's fine to trust him. The Future Foundation is the world's hope. No one can defy the Future Foundation. Except for you! <laughs> no, that's wrong! Hold on! Did you say it's foolish to defy the Future Foundation? Then how do you explain your actions? My actions? This is a fake, Makoto! The email that the Future Foundation sent to you. To Future Foundation, 14th Division, Makoto Nagi. Where are you guys? What are you doing right now? What you're doing is a serious act of treason. Do you understand? Why are you protecting the remnants of despair? It should be abundantly clear to you how dangerous it is to keep those people alive. Stay calm and think about this carefully. You guys are being lied to. Think carefully about what's important to bring the light of hope into the world. The six of you joined the Future Foundation because you agreed with our ideals, right? The Future Foundation rescued you from the tragedy. You survived and helped you recover your memories. Um, immediately return the remnants of despair to our headquarters. Unless we eliminate them, the tragedy will never end. Everything is for the sake of a hope-filled future. Yeah. See, Future Foundation wanted us dead. In that email, Makoto Naegi defied the Future Foundation to protect the remnants of despair. Which clearly contradicts what this person is saying. And then done. Huh? Is that email for real? A future foundation tried to kill us? Hold on! We'll deal with that later. So is this like a replacement program for the observer of Chiaki then? Like that's the only thing I can think of. Like, did he write the program, or is it just him controlling, like, Puppet, or... Like, I'm, I'm trying to figure out what this Makoto is. Hey, Monokuma, those clues we found were all real, right? G yes! And that's not the only contradiction. What this Makoto person is saying also contradicts what we've already been told. What? Essentially, I cannot guarantee that there are no issues with this program. To tell you the truth, I wasn't sure whether or not to run the program on you guys, but this was the only way to save you. I wanted to protect you. To me, those words seem much more real. Yes, this guy's too harsh. If so, the person in front of us is... Tell me, Nikoto Naegi. Who are you? Who is he? Simply put, he's Makoto Naegi! Who's known for being a cutie patootie? <laughs> I'm not asking you. I'm asking you, insolent fool. If you're saying he's not Makoto, then show me some proof. Okay. Um. Damn it. He's trying to interfere. Then, to prove that Makoto Nagi is real or not, I'm going to shove that in his face. Where are we shoving in his face? Panic talk action. Fun. I hate this so much. I can't hear you. <laughs> Better luck next time! Come on! What? What do you want? Punishment is waiting for you! Oh, damn, I'm out. You're getting all riled up! Yes, yes I am. What, what Very much so. Talking about? Enough already! That's impossible! <sighs> proof, proof, proof! Yes, but I wish I had proof. Are you sure about this? I honestly don't know what proof would be at this I'm point. Listening. What is? Ah, oh, crap! This thing again. Ah, yeah. Sure Screw you. This? What, what 
I have this wonderful machine of infinite power. Okay, what's our proof now? We're almost there. What do you want? So damn close. You're getting all right. There we go. You insolent fool. Oh, oh, it's the Leon thing. Then show me some proof. Zero, three, seven. Ah, uh, dang it. So close. Okay, I see what it is, though. It's the number thing. So only he'd be able to tell us, right? You um, insolent one, one, zero, three, seven. He's this is the end. Leon! Tell us it's meeting, Makoto, if that is your real name. <laughs> Makoto Naegi, if that's who you really are. Then tell me this. Why did you make the password to Nezumi Castle? One one zero three seven. Dun dun dun. Um, what was that again? You fake. Can't answer. That's weird. Wait, you. Where'd you find that out? Uh, who cares? So how about it? Can you even answer? Come on. Oh man. Pick us up. I've been found out. Found out. Then you're a lie. <laughs> how disappointing. <laughs> And I thought I was on the right track. So it is just Monokuma. He disappeared? Hey! That guy disappeared! Yep, he's a lot to do that. Why are you surprised? It's a computer program. So anything's possible, right? You're being very accepting of this situation, Fufu, when you were very, uh, aggressively against everything else. Then, that was just the work of Monokuma? Aw, you found out I was faking! This is so embarrassing! I just want to kill myself! What are you doing? Why'd you show us a fake member of the Future Foundation? To try to trick us into graduating. That fake was trying to get us out to the real world. Then that's your plan? Is that where your trap is? Man, they saw right through me! I may as well be invisible. So our only choice is to stay here forever and protect the outside world against Monokuma. Is that what's going what on? What kind of trap did you set? Hey, if you know what's good for you, you better hurry the hell up and confess. I'll beat you half to death if you tell us now. But if you don't spit it out soon, I'm just gonna kill ya! Just kill him right now! Then this nightmare can finally end! That's not how it works. Violence is not allowed! This isn't that kind of game! It's a much smarter game, right? What game? This game is already over! This game... Almost. ...is over? Almost oh, over. No, no! I'm not gonna let you finish yet! There's no way this can end before I've even transformed! Transformed? Tra transform? A transformation is customary in a final boss battle, right? You know, like that one role-playing game? That is kind of true. You he did transform last time. I'm talking about final. <laughs> final. Don't say it. Final what? <laughs> now then, allow final me fantasy? to show you. I'll skip the second and third forms and go straight to my final form. You better not be bluffing. I'm gonna beat the crap out of you and pull all your stuffing out. Well, let's see you transform, Monokuma. This should be interesting. <laughs> Oh, are we getting more memories? It was weird and purple. Well, what? I have a bad feeling about this. Like, the inside of my brain is burning, sizzling. A really, really bad feeling. That's a weird description. Make sure you burn this ginormous despair you're about to see into your memories! Is it like fear and bad feelings usually like cold or hot? All right, Monokuma, just spit it out, man. I'm gonna die! Well, oh, there he goes. <laughs> oh. Oh, shit. <laughs> well, then. 
I guess it's not so much a sentient Monokuma as it is just her again. <laughs> Masquerading as a little bear. I. Oh. Fun! <laughs> well, the trial ground's gotten a bit more interesting, I'll give it that. And she's three dimensional rather than. Flat like the rest of us. What? What's going on? Prepare for absolute crazy town. Uh, am I hallucinating? Uh, nope. I know anything goes here, but this? This is clearly not fucking okay! I see. So that's your reaction to seeing an extra large high school girl. But are they really <laughs> that big? Don't you think they're pretty small? Did they change voice actors? She's huge! She's way too huge! Hmm? But the final boss in a certain action game is much bigger. That or it could just be the distortion. Oh, that game? Knifeerella! She said it anyway! Knifeerella? I've never heard of this. I see, I yes, see. Yes, boobs, we see An them. An estimated bus size of 15 meters, huh? My boobs are hopelessly huge. Hey, hey! Want me to squish you in between them? Big boobs feel good, you know! Not my fetish, girl. I get fucking crushed. <laughs> Not even Soda wants if any this of that. This is a pandering fan service game full of pretty girls. There'd be a CG close-up of my cleavage, but there was. Too bad. This isn't a fan service game. Of course, since it's not an action game either, you won't even get to experience the refreshing sensation of battling an enormous final boss. <laughs> so fucking hopeless. This is Monokuma's true identity. Yep, ain't she a ball. Do we have to deal with this thing? <laughs> I love you, Foo Foo. <laughs> I'm shocked you call me this thing. Oh, you're so mean. Nope, that perfectly describes uh, you. <laughs> is it just me, or did her personality change? All the time, you'll get used to I get it. I'm easily bored of my personality. Like, I already got bored of my personality who gets easily bored. And that's when Fuyuhiko would say, it's too damn soon to say you got bored, right? Wait, what? Is she imitating I him now? <laughs> plenty of data on you guys, so it's so easy for me to know what you're all thinking. You, you are not bored at all. I got bored of getting bored. Jeez, even when I'm dead, I still get bored. This sucks. Can we even count you as dead? I mean, you technically are. Even when you're dead, does that mean... Is, is this person's true identity? It's Makoto, of course! <laughs> no, it's Chunka, damn it. I see! Are you Junko Enoshima? Did you say yes, Junko yes, she is. Enoshima? <laughs> Isn't she dead? Super dead, it's but true. I did it makes possible in virtual time. reality. Uh, I'm sorry, okay? I didn't mean to go so fast. I. I couldn't help it, you know? It was my first time. Jeez, stupid. You're the one who made me go. And why is someone who died here right now? Computer program, anything Do you possible. Do know about an artificial intelligence called Alter Ego? Did you infect Alter Ego? Huh? Exuberance! We are now an AI! We have transcended humanity. What AI? Stop saying all this crazy bullshit! You see, my personality is like this because I'm the type who dies easily, right? That's why I made my own AI program while I was still alive. Oh, so you tinkered and around. And someone uploaded me into this Neo World program. And that's how Alter Ego Junko hopelessly appeared in front of you guys. So, what the fuck? Okay, really? You're going to throw that back in my face? Junko, Junko! And then she just goes, Junko? Which is it? <laughs> For the love of God, which is it? Her name drives me insane. Yeah, that's insane. This insane bitch is- I'm going Junko again. Junko Inoshima. <laughs> She's responsible for everything. The destruction of Hope Speak Academy, the destruction of the world, the one who took over the Neo World program and forced us to kill each other. It was all this bitch is doing. <laughs> kind of unbelievable, isn't it, Haji? Even so, what am I supposed to do? 
Even if we know she's Junko Inoshima. Cautious and think stuff like, what can we do? I mean, we're all ultimate despair here. I mean, Each and every one of our classmates looked at us like we're a bunch of loogies on the side of the road. So let's all be friends. Uh, no. Man, they hate me. And as I we should. Of you guys when I tampered with the graduation program, but they still hate me. I mean, huh? Tampered with the graduation program? What do you mean? Remember what that fake Makoto said earlier about what happens to you when you graduate, right? Yes. I feel like you guys weren't getting a big enough reward for graduating. Were you going to give us our memories back? So, I decided to modify what happens so it's something exciting and unique, just like a game. Great. Uploading your game memories into your real bodies is fine. <gasps> Wait, what? Uploading Those who died return to life? just sucks. That's why I decided to resurrect them. So they are still okay. This is the new graduation program I'm offering. But you're still removing our memories, so we'd still be okay. That doesn't fall in line. Resurrect? Hey, are, are you serious? Can you really do that? Don't give in, Fufu. I know you want Pekko, but... It was, like, real hard, you know? Oh, that's The new. graduation program is the core part of this game, so it was protected with a lot of encrypted codes. It took me a long time. I felt so much despair about how useless I am. Well, one advantage of being an AI is that I got smarter with computers. Before that, every time a computer froze, I used to put it in the microwave and nuke it. Show of hands, class. How long do you think it took for me to modify it? The duration of the class trip? Who cares about that? Are you serious when you say that everyone who died will come back to life? Did you forget? You gotta answer questions to progress the story. That's the rule of this game, right? By the way, I'll give you a clue. You guys were always watching time slip away at a certain place. Yeah, so the weird little statue close. thing. Until we answer that. We're completely at her mercy. But if we cannot progress until unless we answer, we have no choice but to answer. How long it took for Junko Inoshima, or Junko Inoshima, to modify the graduation program? She said we were watching how long it took. If so, the certain place we are watching that was Military by Asmanomi House or Kaji Jebwa Park. It'd be Jebwa Park with its big old bomb thing. Except it wasn't really a bomb, was Jebbawak it? Jebbawak Park. That's the only place we can think of. That's the only place we consistently watch that has anything to do with time. Then that countdown represented the time that was needed to modify the program. How brilliantly wrong! <laughs> what? You're totally wrong about that tricky timer. Then... Wrong? Then what was it? How should I put this? I was just... goofing around? Uh-huh. <laughs> I mean, isn't stuff you don't understand exciting even though you don't get it? So there was absolutely zero point to that damn bomb thing. It's kind of like superhero cosplayers. Or someone else's designs of alien life and stuff, right? It, it was... Just for show? Completely meaningless. In the end, it was meaningless. Great. Does that fill you with despair? Like getting booted from a game server? No, it just kind you of pisses those me murder off. mysteries where the culprit is really the detective who's investigating the murder? Well, I'm so over predictable crap like that. Just what did you expect at this stage of the game? I'm not entirely sure what I expected. Messed up. She really is. Well, in a way, the countdown implied I was on a mission. Did you yeah. ever make up your own silly rules, like, don't step off the white line when you cross the road? I was testing myself to see if I could get you guys into the graduation program before the timer reached zero. So... Enough. Please stop. Don't be so disappointed. We're just on it's schedule. Totally true. <laughs> I had a hard time manipulating the program. While you guys were at the beach making wrinkly dog faces, I was working so hard on my own, you know? Hey, enough with this pointless crap! Are you seriously going to resurrect everyone who died? Like I said, it's easy. Hmm, it's just a game after all. Yeah, but what's the catch? Just a yeah. game. Each and everything that happened in this world was just an event within the game. There's no way anything that occurred in the game could affect the real world. 
Okay. What you say now is completely different from what you said before. Yeah, it's either you said way. Whether or not it's a lie. The moment you feel something is real, it becomes real. The game where you throw my words back at me is over. So you don't really have to worry about it. I kind of feel like Fine. I do. I won't worry about it. Oof, I'll worry about it. Who fucking cares about logic? As long as everyone who died comes back to life, that's good enough. But, but if we do not understand yeah. the principles behind it, then we do not even know if it is really possible. Anything yeah, we goes could just in this be... world. You've seen that happen so many times already, right? Yeah, but Fufu. Well, if a high school girl can get huge, then it's not crazy if the dead can come back to life. You right? guys are both thinking with your hearts and not your minds. Is she saying that's how she tampered with a computer program? How are we supposed to respond to that? That's right. That's why you should finish this game and go back to living a normal life in the real world. She really wants us to if we go, go back, through with this, what though. Do you get out of it? Yeah. Hmm. What benefit do you get by making us return to the real world? As long as we don't know what it is. Man, so annoying. You're so petty. It's not like you're a housewife living on a tight budget. All I want is to put on this graduation performance in a more dramatic way. Yeah. Well, if you doubt me, you don't have to go back. Is that what you want? Not to go back? No. Oh, hold on a sec. We're obviously going to get out of here. If it'll bring our dead friends back, it's all we can do. Of uh, course! We've been working toward that goal for, like, forever! Because we had that goal, we were able to endure those killings. Plus, everyone can go back together. So there's no reason to hesitate. There's... We shouldn't trust her, though. That's the reason to hesitate, Fufu. You are right. Guys! There's no way we can choose to stay here after all we've been through. Just as expected from the winners of this killing school trip. Your will to live is truly ultimate. Except for me. That's just more reason for you to execute your role as devices. What? Devices? Okay, now let's stop stalling for time with exposition and hurry up and do it. Ah. Uh, well then, why don't you guys just go ahead and answer with the touch panel that's in front of you? I'm I gonna don't. do it. I'm seriously gonna do it. If you don't hurry up, I'm seriously really gonna do it. Do you what? You don't have to say, who are you talking to? It doesn't concern a chump like you, Hajime. Ch chump? Ah, uh, you are just a reserve course student after all, right, Don't Haji? Worry about it. Everything's gonna be over once we press this. Uh, so this doesn't we feel just right. have to press graduate, right? If we do that, we can go home, right? I can go back. With this, I can finally go back. He's right. With this, we can finally go back. This will be the end. And our friends who died will be saved. That's way beyond what we expected. Then it's safe to say this is the good ending, right? I wonder how what happens if I don't press anything. Hey, what are you doing? It's decided by a majority vote, so just don't think about it and press graduate. Don't you want to go back home? I don't care if you want to stay here, but don't drag us into it. Oh. Does it have to be unanimous? Shit. I can go back. With this, I can finally go back. He's right. With this, we can finally go back. This will be the end. And our friends who died will be saved. That's way beyond what we expected. Uh... We have to press graduate, don't we? If it's the only way forward. Whoa! Makoto! This is Junko's trap! Yay! Are you real, real Makoto? Yeah, you have to be, because you're trying to stop us. Huh? What the heck? That guy from earlier is back again. Yes, except this time he's ten times more awesome. It's not again. This time <coughs> it's the real one. Praise him. Yes. I'm Makoto Naegi. Makoto Naegi of the Future Foundation. Woo! That this guy is the real Makoto? Then this is the guy I spoke to. Should be. I'm sorry I'm late. I actually wanted to come rescue you sooner, but thanks to the virus infecting the Neo World program, I wasn't able to enter. Just when the chumps are in a pinch, he's suddenly able to enter for reasons unknown. Reasons and thus, unknown? The main character gallantly appears. Well, Makoto is awesome. <laughs> Oh, 
Makoto, are you as done with this as I am? Did you also <laughs> time my arrival? No, it doesn't matter. She did that on purpose? But why? I'm going to save everyone. And then I'm going to settle this between us once and for all. <laughs> I'm drooling. I can't stop my leaking. <laughs> How were you able to get here, Makoto? Because he's awesome, but also probably because she set it up that way, so that's kind of worrying. Since I used my tricks to hack into the program, he must have hacked in with his tricks too, right? Questionable. That's Very also questionable. how you kept your memories, right? Even though you haven't aged a day, just like these guys. If I hadn't, then I wouldn't have been able to save everyone. Don't you understand? It doesn't matter how you got here. As long as you're here, you'll be treated like one of my students. Yeah. Which means you must respect my authority. I already know <laughs> the risks of being here. Oh, and you're you taking them. Such reckless hope. I love you so much that you disgust me. Hey, just what do you mean by trap? What is Junko's trap? It doesn't matter. The trap is the graduation program, and it does matter, Fufu. Well, we can finally end this, you know? If we get out of here, it'll all resolve itself peacefully. Unlikely. After all this, I can't let you get in the way. The Fufu. fact that you guys are even thinking like that is Junko's trap. Huh? Yeah, she's coming lying back to, to your about senses, your dead man. friends coming back to life. Sad. Hey, little old me. Of course. Who do we trust? Trust Makoto. If you know Junko's true goal, you know she's lying. You know her goal? Yeah. Junko's goal is to convert the Hope Restoration Program to the Despair Restoration Program. So even if we lose our memories and then we go back to the real world, we'll see that everyone was still died and be overwhelmed with despair, right? The despair Restoration Program? As part of the graduation program, your avatar's memory and consciousness is uploaded into your real body. However, none of us expected that any of the avatars would get deleted. Junko has taken advantage of that opportunity. She intends to use her version of Alter Ego, the AI she stole my friend's skill to create, and upload herself into the bodies of everyone whose avatar was deleted. Oh, she's handsome Jack and us. <laughs> then... Everyone who died isn't gonna come back to life. Nope, we're just all going to be They're replaced. Gonna be taken over by Junko? What the fuck? Like the real world, once an avatar is deleted from this virtual world, it can't be recovered. It's actually impossible to revive them. That doesn't mean I was lying, you know? I just didn't make some things clear. And even if they're overwritten by my alter ego, it doesn't mean they'll be a completely different person. Well, the data yes. of everyone who died is stored within me, so I'm sure I can convincingly act out their personalities. That's not the point. Don't mess with me. In fact, I have a lot of data on Fuyuhiko, so I know some things that'll make you happy. You need to shut the fuck up right now, Missy. I play a version of Peko that's more to your liking than she ever was. I said, don't fucking mess with me! <laughs> Operation Junkify All Mankind begins here! No, no it doesn't. <laughs> Junkify All Mankind? After uploading my alter ego into everyone who died, I'm gonna take over the Future Foundation's headquarters. And oh then, dear god. Eventually, <laughs> there's gonna be a whole lot of me's all over the world! What would the point With be? This, You're not bringing despair, despair to anyone. Utopia, where you can despair as you please, Junko Land, will be complete! It'd just be her going around and doing bad shit to herself. There wouldn't be anything else to feed off of. This is a pointless That's task. Operation Junkofy All Mankind in a nutshell. Oh yeah! Our dreams are expanding and ending. Oh, that crazy, crazy girl. Up plan? <laughs> is your goal? Then why didn't you just kill all of us? If you did, you could have taken over all of our bodies. Wouldn't that have been more convenient for you? Is that what you want me to do? Is it still too late to do that? Is it... The program? It has to be the program, right? Because, like, the Observer can't do certain things. No. There's a reason Junko couldn't do that. That's why she made you guys kill each other. The reason she wasn't able to do that. Was it because there was something she didn't do? 
If so, the reason is the kill uh, school trip's rules. She was sealed away. She didn't have a real body. There wasn't enough time. It has to be the rules. I see. Because the observer can't do God. anything, right? It's because of the school trip's rules. Even a monster like her has to follow the rules of the school trip? Yep. Kimiko usurped Usami's authority as an observer, and her role as your teacher. However, according to the rules of the school trip, even Usami had to follow up. That's why when Junko took over her position, she had no choice but to follow the rules as well. Rule 4. The lead teacher cannot directly interfere with students. Okay. So, the rules were protecting us? Yes. Man, I was Worked out so great for us too. annoyed. I had the authority to add rules, but no authority to delete rules. Oh well. Even if I could have deleted rules, I was still busy with my whole taking over your bodies plan. So you made us kill each other. Because you couldn't kill us yourself. Then seems to be it. Is that how you were able to increase the number of bodies you can take over? Oh, uh, that's the whole point of whittling us down, like then. I said, I personally didn't care about the outcome of the killings. How dare you look down on us? Don't fuck with me. What about our lives? <laughs> they don't matter. Shall change. <laughs> I... I won't forgive you. I will never, ever fucking forgive you! Kind of hard to see how these guys were in her corner at some so point. So that's your trap. You try to make us choose graduate. So you can take over everyone's body with the graduation program. Yeah, but she also let Makoto in at right the exact moment that would stop us, so... Ah, uh, so confusing. How, how can you be so cruel? Uh, ultimate despair? Because Junko and Oshima is... The true ultimate despair. She doesn't yearn for any kind of future at all. She fills every person she meets with despair. That's my Makoto. You understand me so well. For me, despair is not a goal or a set of principles, or a lifestyle, or even an instinct. It's what defines me as Junko Enoshima. It's just my characterization. Yep. That's why I'm able to pursue despair with such purity. So you're saying you only exist to fill people with despair? Yeah. For example, want to hear about a beautiful memory that even I, who gets bored easily, still remember fondly? Oh, you have fond memories. That's interesting. Picture thousands of fools who are madly in love with me, dying one by one like insects doused with bug spray. You're talking about the mass suicide? And the best part is, they did it to themselves, you know? Thousands of humans falling like dominoes! Oh, that memory is so beautiful! It made my brain melt! Yeah, about that. Does that story have a happy ending? Oh, no it does not. Could it be? Is she talking about them right now? Killing School Life, Future Foundation, Reserve Course... Yeah, Reserve Course student. I see! Mass Are you suicide. talking about the Reserve Course's mass suicide? Oh yeah, I totally forgot you're a survivor of the Reserve Course. By the way, I'm so sorry for your loss. Apparently the sole survivor. <laughs> mass suicide? What's she talking about? An incident where 2,357 people from the reserve course all killed themselves. Junko probably made them do it. What caused Haji to rise above it, though? Because he is the sole survivor of that incident, because they said only one person made it out, right? 2,357 people? That's an outrageous number! You don't have to be that surprised. You all look like your parents, friends, and lovers all died at once. Mm. That was so rude of me. There's no way you guys even have meaningful relationships like that anymore. Cause they're all dead, I right? Mean, you're all ultimate despair. You guys have already eaten your fill of despair. I... I do not really know what you are trying to say. Junko robs the futures of everyone she interacts with. You ultimate despairs are among her many victims. She corrupted if us somehow. Like me is born? That means the world is yearning for despair! That's wrong. The world isn't yearning for despair. That's the reason we can't let you escape. But if you do that, you guys won't be able to return to the real world, right? That's true. Huh? This is complicated. <laughs> if we choose graduate to get out of here, the graduation program will activate, right? If that happens, Junko's alter ego will be uploaded into the bodies of the dead. We can't Does allow that. We gotta stay here to keep her from getting out. What the heck? Why? 
does it have to be like that? Because we have to uh, suffer the punishment of what we did in reality as the ultimate despair. Is that, you know, atonement? That's what it is, right? You got to make up for the wrongs of the past. It's such a cruel fate for you guys. But it's awfully convenient for the future foundation. They'll be able to keep all the ultimate despairs, including me, trapped in this game forever. I don't think it's the future foundation's plan. It's just something we're going to have to do. Wrong. That's not it. But then ultimate what is despair it? is hated worldwide, and their lives are no doubt targeted by the future foundation. Well, yes, it, but oh, well, I mean, if you don't want to acknowledge that, I guess it just can't be helped. Can't be helped. <laughs> LOL. This is nothing to LOL about. But it's so ironic. You came all the way here just to find out that graduating is the wrong choice. Even though you came all this way to win the game. Even though you kept sacrificing your friends to win. <sighs> the goal you guys squirmed to reach was wrong all along. Isn't that just so fucking tragic? Yes, yes it is. But we're just going to have to deal with it. Stop it! <sighs> it was all a mistake. Was this really just a mistake? Was it a mistake to think we'd go home alive all along? That's not the mistake part. The whole everybody killing each other thing was the mistake. <laughs> what about the killings and the class trials? Was this just a meaningless killing game where the ultimate despairs killed each other off? The, that... This is just Don't give too... up yet! There is a way you guys can get out of here without letting Juko out! Oh? Do tell, Makoto. No, no, there's Do no tell. way such a convenient. There is. Really? Well, that's the first I've heard of it. Ah, oh, well, of course it would be secret from you, right? First she's heard of it. Then it's a way that even Junko doesn't know about, right? The way to get out that Junko doesn't know about. It might be true. Um, reserve department, treasure hunt, big treasure, ultimate despair, killing school trip. Academy Survivors, Remnants of Despair, List of Subjects, Academy's Founder, Hope Cultivation Plan, maybe? New World Program, Observers. Oh, the password, maybe. No, wait, the shutdown sequence. Right? I see! Yeah, shutdown sequence. Are you talking about the shutdown sequence? Shutdown sequence? What is that? Emergency precautions. It's a hidden command I set up in the Neo World Program. H hidden command? Basically. I never believed the Neo World program was a perfect solution. There was always a possibility that Usami's hope might have made things even worse for you guys. In a similar way that Nagi's hope does. <laughs> so I prepared a way to shut down the program in case of emergencies. As I recall, you said it was a command that not even the teacher can stop. And that means even Junko can't stop it. Dun dun dun! Yeah. I have an unfortunate announcement to make, class. You cannot activate the shutdown. Uh, that's not true, huh? You, you know about it? More Wait, what? Importantly, do you know why? Do you know why you can't activate the shutdown? Um, no. The reason the shutdown sequence can't be activated is there is no shutdown sequence because it's broken, not enough people, no authority. I think... Don't we have to have a certain amount of people? I think that was what it was. Can I... I can look at my truth bullets, haha. <laughs> Cheating a little here, but it's whatever. Shutdown sequence. Special command that can uh, blah blah override the graduation. If you can use this override, the observer will be forced to escape Neo World Pound. Not even a teacher observer can prevent that. No, nope, it's not there. Huh. Well, that's complicated. I think it's not enough people, because I think. I think Makoto said something about people before. Can't be that it's broken or that there's no authority. It has to be not enough people, right? Yeah! Because there's not enough people? <clears throat> Pay attention, class. According to my information, in order to initiate the shutdown, out of 15 people, more than half of them must press graduate and repeat at the same time. Yeah, we don't exactly have 15 Am people. Am I correct? However, out of 15 people, including Makoto, there are only six people here. Yeah, and even if, wait. 
Because Kyoko, Hiro, Toko, be a, yeah, it still wouldn't be enough even if we brought in the others. Even if you want to cheat, I won't let ya. The shutdown sequence won't activate unless it knows that different people initiated it. So it's totally impossible. That's... Mm. You totally saw through that supposedly hidden command? What was the plan there, Makoto? No need to worry. Even I knew we couldn't activate the shutdown. You still came here when you knew we had no chance of winning? I wouldn't say no chance. It's Dakota not that we have no chance of winning. To have. The only reason I'm here is because there is a chance. As long as you're the ultimate lucky student, there's always a chance, then right? Try explaining it to us. What is this chance of winning of which you speak? I believe. Oh, uh, I can't hear you. You gotta speak up since you're so puny. I believe in them. I believe they will definitely come. The them? That's not something there she you need is. to take your time saying. <laughs> Belief. <laughs> Try putting yourself in our shoes before you drag us into situations like this. Gioko, Wait, where's Toko? Gioko, you, I knew you guys would come. And they're amazing. Yoke oh B. Better off leaving behind someone who jumps to conclusions without listening to our warnings. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Even though it took some time for two people to enter the program simultaneously, it appears we made it. Hey! Yeah, it's best of the best. Why are there more people again? How exciting! I haven't seen these faces in ages. It's like opening your high school yearbook ten years later. I must say, now that I'm seeing her up close. She's much bigger than I remembered. What? What kind of man isn't excited by big women? <laughs> Once you gain some more experience, you'll understand. I don't think Bia has any interest in that. There's a <laughs> lot of kinky things you can do with big girls. Shut up. <laughs> Byakuya, you're alive. But you're so skinny now. <laughs> I feel so bad for you. Did he watch... I'm just curious, like, were they able to see everything that was going on inside the program? Because now I just have to think about... <laughs> like, do you guys think he was offended? Shut up, too. <laughs> um, are you two also from the Future Foundation? In a sense. No, it's probably not just that. Uh, the six of you joined the Future Foundation because you agreed with our ideals, right? The Future Foundation rescued you from the tragedy you survived and helped you recover your memories. Tragedy. If the Killing School Life is referring to that... You guys are the survivors of the Killing School Life who previously defeated Junko, right? Yep, just who we need to defeat her a second yeah, time. That's right. Th there's three of them here now? The former heroes plunging themselves into the game world, ignoring all danger. Jeez, stupids! Making such a suicidal move! Did you really want to see me that badly? It can't be helped. In order to stop you, that suicidal move was our only choice. So how about it? There are eight people now. We have enough to activate the shutdown sequence. Oh, yay. Are we at the right amount then? Yeah, I thought it was more than that. Didn't they say 15? <laughs> no, I guess eight was right. <laughs> Why are you crying? <laughs> You guys showed up looking all cool and stuff, and now all the ultimate despairs. <laughs> They'll be treated like even bigger chumps. What? <laughs> you said it again. Just ignore her. As long as we activate the shutdown sequence, it'll be the end of her and this messed up world. And this messed hey, up world. Can I ask you something? If we do shut down the program. What happened to us? Uh. No need to worry. We won't let you get hurt. Well, Bia, I kind of don't. <laughs> it's not just that. We want a more detailed explanation. Yes, yeah, define hurt. Shut down the Neo World program. <laughs> Everything within the program will be deleted, including our memories. It will obviously delete Alter Ego Junko, along with your avatars here. So, all the progress we made will be for nothing. So you're saying we're going to be deleted, too? It doesn't mean you'll be deleted. The program will just finish without completing the graduation program. What does that mean for us? Your avatars will not upload, so you will revert to your original state before you entered the program. 
as the ultimate despair is great. Is uh, there a huh? reason to tell them all that? Well, we kind of, you know, we're owed some sense of what's going to happen to us. They have to know everything, or else they won't agree to do it. Now, hold on a second. If we go back to our original selves before we entered the program. If we're going to revert back to our original selves before we entered the program, the dead will revive, will revert to the ultimate despairs. Killing will be over. We'll lose mono coins. We'll lose all the mono coins. Oh god, I worked so hard. Uh, no. We'll revert to the I ultimate see. despairs. D does that mean we'll go back to being ultimate despair? That's yes. right. Back to being hopelessly controlled by me. When you used to feel despair upon despair. It's an awful existence. No! Are you fucking serious? Can't you do anything about it? Can they put us back in, or is this thing, like, permanently tainted now by I understand her? your concern, but this is the only way to stop Junko. It might be a painful decision, but I know you guys will be able to overcome it. That's why, in order to defeat despair, I want you guys to fight alongside us. It's our only option, right? And we can have a second go, maybe. We still have to fight? I... I thought we finally reached the end! If Don't only. Worry. Once you get out, we will do our best to support you. But I thought the Future Foundation wanted to kill every last Ultimate Despair. They kind of do. For this reason, the remnants of despair must be immediately eliminated once they are discovered. When you say support, do you mean I'll make sure you don't suffer when I kill you, or...? Of course uh, not. We would never allow that to happen. They're so it's awesome! Your real bodies have just been brainwashed. That's why I'm pretty sure you'll quickly revert back to the state you're in right now. But Can you stop saying that's not how... stuff like brainwashed? Washing your brain is like really nasty. But but still, even if our brainwashing is undone, the memories we've made up till now will be erased, right? So, we'll keep the memories of what we did as the ultimate despairs, but the feelings and sentiments behind those feelings will disappear? Is that what they're saying? We'll lose all the mem- instead of, like, having the memories inside replacing the old ones, it's just going to undo the feelings of the old ones? Or is it just going to completely take away our memory from then? And we're just going to be all like, what the hell happened to the world? Does that mean we'll completely forget everything we did on this island? I don't want that! I mean... Uh... It doesn't matter what you want. That's the reality. Every meaningless thing that happened here will vanish from your minds. Yeah. Okay, meaningless. Vanish. Does that include her too? It has to, right? If we lose our memories of this world, we're going to forget she ever existed, right? Oh. You mean Chiaki. If that happens, does it really mean that that she and existence confined to this world is really going to disappear? She risked her life to protect us, and we won't even remember she existed. Memory's not all that'll go back to normal. If you've lost a limb, like Nagito, It'll still be gone when... <gasps> Please stop! It just makes you wonder what happened to Going everybody back else. Going to reality in that condition? That's like a bad joke. Who starved themselves? We're not joking. That is your past. Nobody can escape their past. Future. We don't know anything about that past! Yeah, you soon hey, will. Why? Why did we become ultimate despair in the first place? I asked the same thing in the real world, but... Nobody would give me an answer. It seems my teachings were quite thorough. However, if you ask me... People who claim to stuff like hope, talent, or admiration are truly the weakest. You mean Nagi? Huh? <laughs> Guys who desperately want to reach the top. They don't think about what'll happen when they're pushed off. What are you talking about They're us? probably too concerned with having a really nice view while they condescend to others. It's either now or us. Shutting off guys like we... that is so easy. <laughs> I happen to know 17,082 ways to do that. 
Yeah, because it, it's either Nagi or us, because that could describe either one, because Hanji's whole thing was he wanted, you know, so badly to be in Hope's Peak Academy. The point is, the moment you cling to talent and hope, despair has already set in. That's not even an explanation. Then, what if you think about it like this? It turns out that you guys being ultimate despair was just part of the game world. And in truth, those guys from the Future Foundation might be part of the game world too. Don't go They're play mind tricks on this. of the game world whose role is to offer hopeless hope to you guys. Wow, I... after saying all that, I don't even know what's real and what's a game anymore. Are you kidding around? Enough. She is. My patience is wearing thin. Let's hurry and start the shutdown sequence already. Before you do that, we gotta do some reviewing. As usual. <laughs> Uh... When you guys activate the shutdown, you'll revert back to when you were known as Ultimate Despair. Empty. Return to despair, empty shell of actual body, and erased. So those who died will no, will still be dead, Young will be gone, and we will be evil. And your dead friends will never be revived. And the embodiment of despair, aka me, will be erased, thereby preserving hope in the real world. Now then... Will the hope of the Future Foundation win, or will my despair win? Okay, I'll let hope All win. Right! Things are starting to heat up! This isn't a game, you know. Sure it <laughs> is. Rare. This is a game. The game of hope and despair that started with your killing school life. That explains why these chumps who weren't around last time have been reduced to mere side characters. You, you called us chumps again! Only cause it's true! Ah, uh, I hate her so Plus, much! <laughs> the killing school trip wasn't just for your sake! Huh? There was a more important goal there. The goal of luring a specific group of people. Wait, you wanted them here? Uh, since now's a great time, why don't we make that the question? C question As long as why? we're in the game world, the rules say I gotta ask questions every now and then. So, question! Who did I lure, and how did I do it? The hint is, I get bored easily, so the same outcome as the killing school life would be a pain in the ass. You don't want to die again, okay, is what you're saying. Okay, let's all think about it together. Okay, the same outcome as the killing school life. Do I just have to remember what occurred there? The people Junko lured, the method. I should try connecting those thoughts. There should be an answer there. Oh, yay, a logic dive. Fun! <sighs> this is a complicated, complicated. This is a very strangely straightforward thing. Something bad's going to pop up, and it won't be fun. Yep. So she lured Makoto and them here, expressly for the purpose of... Do I have to jump on that? Yep! Damn it. <laughs> it would have been so cool too if I made that. So she lured Jink, uh, Makoto and them there just to trap them, I suppose? Is she trying to get inside their bodies too? Dang it. <laughs> I am proving to be terrible at this. I really hope it's not starting me off at the same point every time. That's going to really suck. But I think that's exactly what the case is. Son of a bitch. There we go. Finally. Yeah, okay. Kind of working around here. Okay, yeah, now we got a question. Question one. Why did Jinko Yoshimo no, who did they want there? Ultimate Despair, Future Foundation, Hope's Peak Academy, Headmaster, Future Foundation. That would be Makoto and them. Oh, come on, you can't even. <laughs> They're screwing up with my answer ones now? That's not fair. All good so far. More questions. What? 
And he even set it up for us. There we go. And... Ugh, everything's getting so much complicated. But it makes sense. I mean, we are in our final round, right? Question two. What bait was used to learn the future foundation at a glitch, the killings, Junko herself? The killings. Oh, good. Yes. Stay away from me. Freaking diamonds of death. Whoa. Nope, okay, nothing. Yep. <laughs> I messed myself up there. I thought more things were going to pop up. And screwed it. Ugh. I'll get it eventually. There we go. Ah! This is such a freaking complicated thing. Ah, no! I was going too fast. Oh, not all the way back here. Come on. Ah, come on. One moment. Okay. Here we go. Question three. What did Junko use to force them to watch the killings? Uh, surveillance cameras, surveillance cameras. <laughs> surveillance gamera. Okay, I see what it was doing there. Yay! Everything's awesome now, right? No crazy stuff. Yay! Golly, that one was complicated. <laughs> it's all coming together. Got it. You used the surveillance cameras. Indeed she you did. You were trying to lure the future foundation by showing them the footage you were recording, weren't you? The yes. surveillance cameras? That's what they were being used for? In the previous killing school life, the surveillance camera footage was broadcast outside of the school. She always wants to show someone something, right? You used the cameras that were placed throughout the entire island for the same purpose. Ding, ding, ding. I was broadcasting the Killing School trip live to every member of the Future Foundation. The, the footage you recorded with the surveillance cameras was shown to the Future Foundation? What shall I do? I did a lot of disgraceful things in front of those cameras. What sort of things? <laughs> sure did. <laughs> what did she do? I'm to be queen now. Please forget what you saw! So you guys were watching us? Then why didn't you come rescue us earlier? We tried to hack in many times, but the virus within the program blocked us at every turn. Just like she did with the original people who tried to help you guys out when you guys had to kill a, had a killing school live going on. Not only that, the Neo World program stopped accepting shutdown commands from the outside. As a last resort, we considered cutting power to the program, but... Mm. That might have killed we didn't us, know am I right? Happen to the subjects if we cut the power while the program was still running. There's no way we'd jeopardize your safety by taking such a gamble. Even so, we kept trying over and over again until it was finally possible for us to enter the program just a short time ago. And you came all the way here when you knew it was a trap. I get it. You couldn't just leave them alone. If you saw people dying one by one with your own eyes by the same killing game you guys played, Hulk dictates that you act all high and mighty and say, Oh, I'm definitely gonna stop it this time, right? Well, it is hey, their job. <laughs> don't tell me that's the reason you made us go through all this. Of course we made you do it for that reason. We orchestrated this <sighs> game instead of killing you outright solely to show it off to the Future Foundation. We were forced to solve puzzles and riddles just so you could show it off to the Future Foundation? That's why you guys are chumps. You're just the bait I used to catch a big fish called the Future Foundation. But it's not my fault, you know. I mean, it kind of is. This game is a fight between the Future Foundation and me. You guys were just instigators in the background. 
But you guys already knew that when you chose to play this game, right? Just one second, please! That sounds as though we... As though we wanted to come to this world of our own free will. <laughs> That's precisely the truth! So, we chose to go into the program. It's not something that, like Makoto and them, just stuck us in with hope of curing us. You guys huh? chose to be instigators, and you were willingly taken into the Neo World program. To provide the opportunity I needed to push this battle between hope and despair into overtime. And that's why we brought the virus with that's us. That's right. The reason the ultimate despairs began killing each other was set up by the group itself. That's just your imagination. Uh, naive Makoto totally fell for the trap. Oh, and now your face is filled with a lovely shade of despair. Whoa, that despair is fucking obvious. You're here to rescue the assholes who set this up in the first place. Don't go blaming us for this. Well, Thank I mean, you. kind of it's is. Thanks to you guys. This time around, I might be able to fill these guys with despair. No. We do not feel despair. Yeah. Even if this was all a trap, we will never regret coming here. And this is the only thing we could do to stop you. But nevertheless, it's all over. We will shut you down and end all of this. You're pretty fucking desperate! Oh, that's pretty fucking obvious. I would say desperate so much as confident. If you don't initiate the shutdown, those future Foundation fuckwits are gonna be trapped here forever! Well, let's get to it happen? then. <laughs> Didn't I already explain it? You know, the graduation exam rule? There are two options, uh, graduate and repeat, right? You just have to choose one of them and press it. All of you will cast your vote, and whichever one has the majority will be considered your final decision. So it wasn't unanimous, I just... But hmm. that's not all, right? In order to pass the graduation exam, there was one more requirement. The other requirement to pass the graduation exam is... Teacher's final decision, press either button, become the black and escape, collect all the hope fragments. Is the teacher's final decision, right? Because she needed to rule on it. I see. Like Monokuma said, he'd go over it. We also need the teacher's final decision. To participate in the graduation program, you need my permission as your acting teacher, you know? Uh, whoa, what? What Does that mean it won't end with just the majority vote? After the vote, I'm going to judge every single one of you to see if it's okay for you to graduate or not. So, even if we vote, you're saying we won't graduate unless you acknowledge it? Obviously, yep. there's no way I'd let the members of the Future Foundation graduate. So uh... if you can't activate the shutdown, the Foundation will enter the endless life of repeating the grade! That's only if the shutdown sequence doesn't activate, right? And we will totally that's activate impossible. it. Everyone here understands how dangerous it is to release you into the real world. Right? Everybody does understand that, right? Nobody having we second know thoughts? That. All too well. I mean, she's been bad mouthing us this whole time. Oh. Looks like you shouldn't have talked so much. Out of the mouth comes evil, so they say. It's true that we fell for this trap and that we run the risk of not being able to go back. But what's wrong with that? Thinking we'd back down because of something like that is a huge mistake. That's my line. Thinking your little shutdown plan will succeed is a huge mistake. Huh? You're totally what? overestimating those chumps over there. There's no way they'll start the shutdown sequence. Uh, we Why have not? to. Look upon their faces. They look like piglets who were forced to watch their mom roasting on a spit. There's no fucking way they'll initiate the shutdown just to go back to being ultimate despair. Well, I mean, there's always another that chance, is... right? Well, Junko, I don't care what you say. I've decided to believe in everyone. It's true that they walked the wrong path before, but that's all in the past now. Yep, and we can choose what to put that behind us, right? Not their past. But their futures. <laughs> Why is this blazing you? No matter what uh. you do to me, I will never fall into despair. You tell her, Ricardo. You're amazing. Oh, wrong, wrong. I'm not the one who's gonna make you fall into despair. 
Are we? That's the mastermind's job. Wait, and they'll what? be appearing very soon. What? Mastermind? Mastermind? Someone else is coming? That can't be. It's just a bluff. She wouldn't bring it up if it she was. She never make the last character who appears in a detective story turn out to be the mastermind. But I always fall into that pattern, so I was kind of worried about that. Enough already. What are you talking about? Yes, oh, please. Well. Let's something bring else? him out with lots of energy. It's Mr. Izuru Kamakura. The founder? Izuru Kamakura? That name, I've heard it before. That person was called the Ultimate Hope. But that shouldn't be all he was. That's right, I've seen that person called Izzy somewhere else. As I recall, that person was, um, the Dark Destruction. No, the founder of the Academy. Izuru Kamakura? Isn't that the name of the founder of Hope's Peak Academy? It was written on the placard beneath the portrait of the Academy's founder. That name. It was definitely Izuru Kamakura, right? Yeah, we also saw it somewhere else, However, though. However, based on the information I know, the man known as Izuru Kamakura... If I recall, he's a super genius who acquired many talents. He was even called the Ultimate Hope, right? Yeah. Hmm? Huh? Does the founder have the same name as that Ultimate Hope guy? Is that kind of coincidence even possible? Uh, yes. The future Family is named children after each other all the time. Right? How about it, Kyoko? Even within Hope's Peak Academy, there's very little information about a person called Izuru Kamakura. It's a mystery if such a person ever really existed. Well, I mean, we have portraits of them. And not just is that. that just... The matter was closed without ever being settled because of that incident. Uh... If you do not know, then please allow me. Providing hopelessly skilled explanations is a quirk of mine. Me the, the reason spree? Izuru's existence continues to be such a mystery is because the Academy hid it. Why did the Academy hide his existence? Because he went on a killing spree, recall, right? They were trying to protect their superior talent. They even called it Mankind's Hope, correct? However, that prodigious student ended up killing 13 student council members at Hope's Peak Academy. Izuru is the killer responsible for Hope's Peak Academy's biggest, most awful event. Yep, because he technically the triggered the suicide, too. Right. Information about Izuru completely vanished after that incident. <sighs> we thought Junko and Ashima killed them? Oh, don't say such cruel things. Izuru Kamakura is very much alive. Isn't oh. that right, Hajime? What? Huh? What? I am... What? Oh, no fucking like way. Like I said, you're Izuru Kamakura. Bullshit. Bullshit, right? Alrighty. If you don't understand, I'll explain it to you till you do understand. You're Please Izuru do. Kamakura, you're Izuru Kamakura. You're Izuru Kamakura. You're Izuru. No, hold on. Seriously, what are you talking about? Liar. There's no way. There's no way Hajime is Izuru Kamakura. I'm a little young Izuru for that, aren't I? Izuru is that ultimate hope, right? But Hajime is... That's right. I am Hajime a is one of student. those reserve course dropouts and has no talent whatsoever. But right? the fact that he's really Izuru Kamakura makes all this much more hopeless. What do you mean? I'm Izzy? What? <laughs> Make your argument. Okay. Reserve department, tragedy, killing school, life, remnants of despair. She might be bullshitting us, like, with the thing, or this could be a thing. But then again, we do have the vision of Nagi that's all mysterious. Good news, Hajime! Do tell us. Even though you were mocked for being a reserve course student, he had a talent all along! Ultimate hope! How can someone from the reserve course have such an amazing talent like that? In order uh... to hide Izuru's identity, was he hidden in the reserve course? Then Hajime's name is fake? There, there's no doubt I'm Hajime Hinata. I've always had that name ever since I was born. Then Are Izuru our is your fake? fake name? Maybe? Hey, you weren't lying to us, right? I do not want any more last minute plot twists. Could it be created hope? That might be Izuru. 
Um. Okay, I'm the ultimate hope. So, then the current me and Izzy are... What did Hope Speak Academy do to me? Good news, Hajime! Even though uh, you're not for being a reserve course student, he had a talent all along! Ultimate Hope! How can someone from the reserve course... Have all we really have... In to hide these Uru's, was he hidden in the reserve course? Because we don't have anything to contradict that. There's no doubt I'm Hajime Hinata! I've always um, had that name ever since I was born! Then Izuru is your fake name? Maybe the Hope Cultivation hey, you plan? lying to us, right? I do not want any more last-minute plot twists! One moment, let me see something. Ah, uh, no, I know, we're cheating a little, but still. For many years, Hope Speak Academy attempted to create true hope by considering the results of all their research. Uh, by consolidating the research, well, eh, results of all their research. So this seems likely, right? Could it be created hope? Maybe. Yes. That must be it. Like actually created hope. <laughs> created hope. Are you talking about the hope cultivation plan? Hope cultivation plan. What is that? Uh, let's see. We're kind of running a bit short on time. And if I go too long with this, I'm not going to be able to edit it properly. Um, alright. You know what? This is where we're going to end the episode for today. We're going to go into the hope cultivation plan in the next episode. Because we are... It's way, way too much time. All right, so, oh, so much stuff this episode. Happy to see Bia back. Happy to see to uh, Kyoko back. Oh my god, everybody, it's all wonderful. Not too happy to see Junko. Well, I wasn't too fond of her, you know, in the first one, but I guess I'm not fond of her in this one too much either. But it works, because she's supposed to be, you know, the villain here. And, you know, occasionally you'll come across villains and you're like, yeah, that villain's so fucking cool and stuff. But I just, like, legitimately don't like her, which is good. It's good to have a villain that you just kind of fucking hate their guts, right? Yeah, that's kind of the point of a villain. So, yeah. Sure, welcome Junko back. But, yeah, so much crap this episode getting revealed to us. Okay. My head's still kind of reeling from the whole graduation program thing, but I think the only way out of this is, you know, the shutdown sequence and that we're just going to have to sacrifice everything and become remnants of despair again, and maybe they could put us back through the program after it's been cleansed of Junko, or, you know, maybe we'll have our brainwashing be broken, even if we don't get our memories from our time in here. Maybe we'll just come to our senses or something in reality. I don't know. You yeah, know, that's going to be a complicated thing. I wonder if the others can come back. I mean, you know, because if they're deleting everything that technically happened while we were on the island, including our avatars and stuff, wouldn't that also be erasing the deaths and everything? So, like, maybe... I just want to see, you know, people come out of this alive. I know it's very unlikely, but... <laughs> you know, it's just a little bit of hope. Um, other than that, what else? What else? Um, oh yeah, freaking Haji and Izzy. I guess that has to be a thing, because otherwise, as usual, they wouldn't bring it up. Like, I know the bomb thing was fake, but normally they don't just bring stuff up without it actually, you know, having some kind of reality to it, so. Does that mean he's also the mastermind? Because if we can... Okay, so if we look back on that memory with Nagi, it's, uh, we know that who... I'm guessing us, Haji, Izzy, whatever, was... had brought with them the virus. I'm very certain that that's what they were talking about during that whole conversation. They brought with them Junko to install into the program, and they did all of that on purpose. So that means that... Haji is the one who infected all, everybody with all this, and then Haji is the one who's brought despair to everybody every step of the way. Even though he's been the one, you know, most adamantly trying to solve it and bring about, you know, good stuff for everybody. 
in the end, he's also been the source of all the killing, too. Which is very, very tragic. But... I'm curious as to how he went from Reserve Corps student to Ultimate Hope. And what does that even mean? Like, they said a bunch of talents, right? But... How does that work? I guess they'll explain it to us next time, but, you know. Just gonna have to wait for then. Um... So until then, like and subscribe if you guys want to, and thank you for watching.